guys, Stampers, this is Holly from Rubber Redneck. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and welcome to another Rubber Redneck video tutorial. Today's video, I'm going to be demonstrating my June club project. My club project this month focuses on the stamp set called Ten of Cards that's in our main catalog. This is a fun new stamp set this year and I love all the different sayings. It's really a good versatile set here. And then this is the club project that everybody that's in my $625 Hostess Club received. And then they also received the paper kit in the mail as well. Now in the paper kit, what is included is the paper, of course, along with all the embellishments and the completed project. The things that are not in the paper kit is stamped images, die cut pieces, or punched out pieces. We are not allowed to um, put those in, in the kits. So you'll have all the supplies here to recreate this project. If you'd like more information on how to join my $625 club, or I do have a couple of other different types of clubs as well, visit my blog, rubberredneck.typepad.com. Now for those of you that do have the kit, the first thing you wanna do is take out that piece of whisper weight cardstock that is the card base. And that card base has been cut at three inches by eight and a half. Then place it onto the Simply Scored scoring tool and score at four and a quarter. Fold it on the scored line and crease down, that, crease down on that scored line really good. Set your card base aside for a minute. Then you want to take out the piece of whisper weight cardstock and this piece is at two and three quarters by four inches. Then you're gonna take the stamp from Tin of Cards, ink it in the Memento Pad Tuxedo Black and stamp onto the bottom of the Whisper White cardstock. And when you go to stamp onto this, you wanna bring it over to the right just a little bit so you don't stamp all the way across the bottom. Then you wanna cut one piece of the 2014-2016 in color stack designer series paper and you want that hello honey pattern and that piece is at half an inch by two and a half. Once you have that piece then you're going to glue this to your whisper white cardstock. I should also mention everybody that's in the club that gets the paper kit every month also gets the printed out directions too as well with the supply list and the cutting list as well. Then you want to take the piece of the 2015-2017 in color envelope paper and you want that cucumber crush piece and that measures at one and a half by two inches. Then you're just gonna glue this to your whisper white and you wanna glue this on the right side. And you're gonna bring this down a little bit past that stamped image on the bottom. Then you want the piece of Watermelon Wonder cardstock, and that is a quarter inch by two inches. Then you're gonna take the stamp from Tin of Cards, ink it in Watercolor Wonder, and stamp onto your Watercolor Wonder cardstock. Then you're gonna glue this across the layers. And then you just wanna line this up on the right side. Don't cover your stamped image, so make sure you go above that a little bit there. Then you want to cut one piece of whisper weight at one and a half by one and a half. That will be in your kits. And then you want to take the stamp from Tin of Cards, ink it in Hello Honey, and stamp onto the whisper weight cardstock. Once you have the Hello stamped on that whisper weight piece of cardstock, you're going to need your one and three eighths circle punch. And then you're going to open it up and turn it over. Then you want to just slide your Whisper White cardstock right into your punch and just line it all up. And then once you have it lined up where you want it, you're just going to punch out your hello. So it'll look like this once you've got it punched out. Then you want to Glue your Whisper White circle to your layers. 
So you're gonna place that right over here onto the right side overlapping everything. Then you wanna cut 15 inches of the basic black baker's twine and then you're gonna wrap this around the bottom here. You're gonna wrap it around twice. So go once, one more time, and then you're gonna tie this in a knot. And if you need to, just trim off any of the excess. And then once you have that tied, what you wanna do is slide this over so the knot is on the right side of the layers. And then you're gonna slide it down just a little bit. Then you're gonna need your stamping pierce mat, your paper piercing tool, and the 1 8 mini brads. And you're just gonna take that mini brad and you want to take your paper piercing tool and you want to pierce the hole down here on the bottom through all those layers. And then once you have that pierced, just set that mini brad right through there. So that's what it'll look like so far. Once you have that part done, then you're going to turn this over and put some stamping dimensionals onto the back. So I put one in each corner plus one in the center so that over time it doesn't like concave down in the center. This just gives it a little more support. And then you're gonna peel off those backings. And then you wanna attach this to the front of that Whisper White card base. And then once you have that on there, you wanna take some rhinestone basic jewels and I just took two of them and I put one over here on the left on the white, whisper white, and then I put one over here onto that whisper white circle. And then that's the front of the card. Now for the inside of the card, you'll need that little piece of the 2015, 2017 in color envelope paper in the cucumber crush. And that's a quarter inch by one and a quarter. And you're just gonna glue this to the inside of your card on the right side here at the bottom. So just go up from the bottom a little bit, line that up and then place that down. And then that completes the club project, June's club project. Again, if you're interested in any of my clubs, please visit my blog, rubberredneck.typepad.com for more information. Thank you for watching.